Okay, today I'm reviewing the Bushnell Backtrack Detour device, the device on the right. Uh, previously, in, a, in the, my first video, I reviewed the Bushnell Backtrack, the original device. And uh, the Bushnell people saw this video and kindly sent me the Detour uh, to review also. And that's what I'll do today in this video. Okay, the first thing we need to do is put the batteries in the Detour device. Do this from the back, have a coin, turn it this way, the lid comes off. Now while the lid is off, you will note the serial number in here. You need the serial number in order to use the software on your computer, which I'll be demonstrating to you later. Okay, So assuming you've written down the serial number, put in the batteries, and note that I'm using standard Duracell batteries here, nothing very fancy. Okay, put this back on, turn, and we have the batteries. Okay, to turn this on, we press and hold the upper left button on this device. You'll see the backlight come on, and we push and hold actually the upper right button on this device. Okay, we're going to have to wait for a satellite lock. Um, and that's going to be a bit difficult inside the house, although the left unit has already received it. So we'll wait on that. Okay, both units have a satellite lock. And you can tell that because the satellite icon, which is here on this unit and here on this unit, have stopped blinking. Okay, what I've done is I've set up a waypoint outside of the house. And in fact, the waypoint is to the left, as both units are indicating. Um, this one is indicating about 22 yards, and this one's indicating about 31 yards. So you're seeing some error from the GPS, okay? It's not perfect, and you shouldn't expect it to be perfect. Uh, but they work in general. Both the units work quite well. Okay, what other features do we have on this device? Uh, we have the time in the upper left. We have our battery indicator. Again, the satellite lock. Okay, in both of these, we have a home icon. All right, this designates the home waypoint. This unit could store five waypoints. This unit could store three waypoints. So this has a little more capacity than this one. Okay, again, we're showing about 30 yards to the waypoint versus 21 yards, but the direction is pretty good. Okay, um, note again that this is ruggedized as compared to this one. And uh, let's discuss battery life for a second. Uh, Bushnell claims 16 to 20 hours of use um, on the batteries. I received 15, but then again, I'm using just very standard Duracell batteries, whereas Bushnell recommends using Energizer lithium batteries, which are claimed to give you about five hours more. So 15 hours plus five gives you the 20 hours. So I'm willing to believe that you can get 16 to, 16 to 20 hours of use out of this with the better batteries. Or, if you want, 15 with normal batteries that are less expensive. Again, we're seeing fluctuations in the distance. These fluctuations will get a little better if you move. When the unit is standing still like this, or sitting still like this, it's not going to do as well. Finally, to turn off the unit, we hold the upper left button until the unit turns off. And with the old device, actually, it's the upper right button again. Okay, uh, next we'll take these units outside and uh, experiment with them some more. I'll show you how to set waypoints, how to set a lot of the features of the, un the new unit.